Seeds coated with inoculants can fight disease and add beneficial nutrients to the soil. Research into these inoculants is being further developed at the University of Guelph. This research could have implications both nationally for wheat and corn producers and internationally in countries that use farmer selected cultivars including maize and millet in Africa and wheat and rice in Asia. Inoculants hold promise for farmers as, as being a more inexpensive technology than chemical inputs. Primarily uh, in examples where the inoculant, uh, once it's added onto the plant or into the soil, can replenish itself. So if it can just multiply on its own, then it never has to be added again, as opposed to a chemical, which, uh, a pure chemical that has to be added every time you need it. So I work with farmers in Africa and South Asia, um, and one of the, one of the problems that these farmers have is that, you know, big companies have, or even national governments, have not come in with improved uh, br bread breeding varieties of their crops that might, for example, fight diseases. And so these so th these farmers are faced with very traditional crop varieties that are susceptible to a lot of disease. You don't necessarily want to go in and replace those varieties because those varieties, there's a lot of indigenous knowledge associated with those varieties. Um, and they may have many other advantages. So it might be disease susceptible, but it has many other advantages. One of the advantages of inoculants is that you could just coat it onto their current seeds and help those seeds fight, help those plants fight disease. Uh, without reducing all that traditional knowledge. But Rosetta doesn't want to limit this technology's applications to Ontario farms. He also plans to expand it to Africa and South Asia, where he's already been helping farmers improve millet production. He's hoping to integrate these inoculants in their traditional crop varieties, including maize and wheat, meaning farmers can continue growing plants they have cultivated for decades. Ontario soybean farmers and soybean farmers around the world purchase seed which are coated with beneficial bacteria, uh, a particular bacteria called rhizobium, which help uh, soybeans acquire nitrogen uh, from the atmosphere. So there's already a whole industry set up around growing up microbes, coating them onto seeds, and farmers are well aware of this technology and can, can purchase it. Um, the advantage of this is that there is not a very good, there's not a very effective strategy for controlling fusarium disease in corn. So we would offer a new technology uh, and hopefully a, a sustainable, environmentally friendly um, uh, and inexpensive technology for, for farmers. Managing soil nutrition and controlling disease are two major concerns for farmers. With these new types of inoculants from Rizada's lab, both Ontario farmers and farmers across the world can benefit from a more natural and cost-effective method. From the University of Guelph, I'm Karen Ball, reporting for Spark Air.